Hello YouTube, this is Mr. McLaren27 here with a review of the Eggnator Rebel 30 head. Um, I have it running through a Marshall 1968 cab. I got it about 9-10 months ago for around 900 bucks uh, with tax from Guitar Center. Brand new. Um, run you through a couple features of the amp. Um, sorry, scratching my head over here. So over here on the left side obviously you've got your input um, right here you've got your channel select it's not gonna work for me right now because I have the uh, foot switch plugged in but that's what that does uh, to come the foot switch, yeah the foot switch comes included by the way it's a good thing uh, right here are the I know you can't really see it that well for some reason my camera isn't focusing I don't know these are the Titan bright switches right here I'll run you through those. These are this is for the clean channel, by the way. Um, yeah, obviously, tight is gonna tighten up the sound a little bit. Uh, tighten up your low end. Bright is gonna just give it a slight mid and uh, treble boost. Here's your gain channel right here, right her. Uh, it's also got tight and bright. Does exactly what I told you did on the other one. Uh, gain knob, bass knob, mid knob, treble knob. Oh, by the way, uh, clean channel only has volume, bass, treble. There's no mids or gain. Uh, anyway, here, gain, bass, mids, treble. What I'm going to do for you guys, I'm just going to set everything to 12 o'clock besides the volume because I'm not stupid. This thing is loud. And for now, I'm just going to leave the tight bright switches off. I'm also going to set the um, these the these are like little watt uh, knobs or whatever they just it tells you whether or not you want the channel to be at one to thirty watts. Uh, basically, I don't, it doesn't really affect the volume that much, like at all. I don't know. It affects the tone more than that. I want to leave the tube mix straight up. Tube mix is the mix between the EL, EL84 and the 6V6 tubes that it has inside. I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't go perfectly straight up. It goes a little, a little bit right and a little bit left, so I'm just going to leave it here. It's the closest to center that you can get it. <sighs> Alright. Alright guys, I'm going to start you off on the uh, clean channel without reverb. Uh, like I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but both reverbs on the back are set to uh, 12 o'clock. So I mean, I'm not gonna do anything special. Oh, everything's set to 12 o'clock right now. But I'll, uh, I'll show you what we can do. This is on the uh, bridge pickup. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the uh, move over to the middle pickup right now.
Alright, sorry about that. Mm. That was the clean channel. With the tight, bright switches off, what I'm going to do for you is engage the tight switch, put a little bit more for you on the uh, bridge. So I'm going to, wait, let me turn it off real quick. This is without tight. With tight. So it, seems it, it, it kind of cuts a little bit of that bass out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the tight switch on and I'm going to switch on and off the bright. So without bright, with bright. Without bright, with bright. So it's a very uh, sparkly high end boost. I'm going to move you, oh actually you know what, let me, uh, let me show you the reverb on this channel. It's pretty good reverb on this amp. There you go. There's, that's uh, with the reverb on 12. I'll, uh, I'll do a little surf drench for you guys. There you go. A little reverb tuning for you guys too. Go ready. There you go. There's that for you. I'm gonna turn the reverb off. Switch to the uh, to the gain channel, to the crunch channel, the lead channel, whatever you prefer to call it. It's channel two on the amp. Uh, tight bright switches are off. Everything is at 12 o'clock besides the volume. Uh, turn the volume up a little bit. Um, all right. This is how it sounds. <laughs> That sounds pretty good, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the tight on and off. So this is without it. This is with it. Without it. With it. So it, I'm telling you, it almost seems like it's taken out some of that bass. So it gives it like a, like a tonal facelift. It's a nice and tight tone. I'm going to keep that on. Uh, I'm going to switch the bright on and off. Off. On. Off. On. What, I, what I'll do is I'll switch it on in the middle of a chord. So you... on. So it does give it a little bit of more shimmer. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the treble a little bit. Increase the mids, get that bass cranking for some uh, for a little bit more high gain stuff. I'll put the put the gain right here. You can see where I'm putting it. Well, I'm actually no, you probably maybe you can't. I don't know. Right now, it's probably at about if it were labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably it'd be at about an eight or a seven. This is where it's at. <laughs> So it's a really nice 
signing app. Um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dime the game. Um, get those mids cranking. Bass all the way. Uh, I mean, I figure why not? I'm going to maybe turn down the volume a little bit so I don't kill my mother's ears. Um, here we go. <laughs> sounds really good. Uh, I like this amp a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, I have no complaints about this amp. The only thing is uh, the included foot switch. If you don't really treat it well, uh, it's it'll get really shoddy on you. Like, uh, here, I'll give you a look right here. Uh, something's wrong with my cable, so now that every time the cable's stuck or something, it um it'll turn off, and then I won't be able to use the foot switch. Doesn't work, and the app automatically just goes to clean or whatever whatever channel is selected with this one. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe my app just sucks. Just kidding, it's the foot switch. As long as you take good care of the foot switch. You'll be fine with this amp. Uh, it's good for anything live, anything in the studio. Really is a really versatile amp. Um, it can tread into those. It can tread into those metal territories. I'm not going to say that you aren't going to need some pedals to pull it off really well. But if you just need some, you know, regular high gain stuff. Well, I don't know, maybe not high gain, but medium high gain stuff. This can possibly be the amp for you, especially this thing has an amazing clean channel. Um, yeah, I love it a lot. Uh, this is Mr. McLaren27 with a review of the Ignator Rebel 30. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or message me privately. Uh, thank you very much.